Hello guys, welcome back again, and this time around we're going to talk about Splatoon. In this household, to be honest with you, Splatoon is played every day. Would be my son, me, or my wife. One of us are playing the game every day. Ironically enough, out of all the people, my wife, who is plays games the less, has actually been playing Splatoon the most in our household. Though she still plays video games, just not as much as me and my son. And I actually thought she'd be the hardest to play this game because... Uh, she loves, she likes, she wants to play first person shooters, but she has the motion sickness problem where she, the first person view just messes her up for whatever reason. But like Splatoon being third person doesn't bother her so she can play and she's had a lot of fun with this game. Uh, I tell her she should probably play Plants vs. Zombies because she's Garden Warfare, she'd probably like that too. But that's not what we're here to talk about. So, they just announced that Friday today, depending on when you're watching this, Friday, you know. The new map launches in North America on 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 9 p.m. Central Time, or of course 10 p.m. Eastern Time. And the new map is called Camp Triggerfish. Uh, Camp Triggerfish is rather is it the most different kind of map they've had so far. And I'll be honest, what's interesting about all the maps for Splatoon is they're all different. Now, you look at every map they released, there's different strategies to play each map. There is no dominant strategy except for the fact you need whoever covers the most area wins. And you have to play it to understand where the choke points are, where everybody's going to be fighting at. It just seems everybody fights for certain areas, and you know that's going to happen. But what makes this map different is it has a series of bridges, and crossing them leaves you completely vulnerable. Because of those great type, bridge, great type of bridges uh, where if you turn into a squid, you're going to fall right through and hit the water and die. So it leaves you vulnerable, but that's also the only way to reach the enemy territory. So, so you have to cross the bridge to get there. Which is going to lead to some rather interesting firefights on both sides because both sides are not going to want you to to get to the other side knowing that they're going to take the enemy territory. Uh, the other feature of the map is a set of gates allowing easy access to each team's base. But, depending on what mode you play, in ranked battle mode for example, the gates are always open. But in turf war mode, they stay closed to one minute before the match begins. Uh, one of the other interesting things is, is that when you're doing tower uh, you know the rank battle tower in this game that the tower is almost always over water so that is going to lead to some really really nasty firefights and people falling into the water because the tower is going to go over the water a lot it's going to be really hard you know for people not to fall off the map why fighting over the tower that'd be interesting again tower mode and battle the tower uh doing the tower in battle mode Ranked mode is my one of my favorite over Splat Zone. I like Tower better. So this will lead to a lot of different strategies. And again, won't know what they are until we play. Though in the photos, as you see, they do show somebody shooting. Literally, it looks like they're shooting off the totem pole thing high up. And I know something recently one of the Crow, uh, what, crow creators of, of Splatoon had said is that a lot of people still aren't using the maps to their full potential. Like, for example... Uh, on the one map, there's actually a swinging crane across the top of the map. Most people don't use it. I've seen people recently realize it's there and parts put sprinklers there, and it sprays across the map as it goes across, right? Or someone can get on that and get on one of the uh, towers in the far, really high up off that grate that you normally can't get to on that crane. You can actually, you know, start sniping people off it. So uh, I like to explore maps and see different things. That's what I've really been doing lately in the game is exploring things I didn't really pay attention to before. And this looks definitely like there will be some high areas to shoot from. It's going to be probably going to be really hard to get across the bridges because people know you're going to have to get across them. But what do you guys think of the new map, Camp Triggerfish? Are you happy for it? How have you loved your have you liked your Splatoon experience so far? Again, I've enjoyed the game a lot. Uh, it's it's become my sit down play for fun shooter. And what I mean by that is, when I played Call of Duty, for example, will it be Modern Warfare Two? Black Ops, for example, uh, even though I liked playing it, it was always about, hey, I gotta kill more people, or just, in this game, it's just sit down and have fun, you know some games you're gonna lose, you know some games you're gonna, you're gonna win, sometimes you have to carry your team, and that's just the way it is, it's just a fun little game where you know, you're not always gonna win. You come across someone with a bubble, or someone who's got a domino roller who's able to get this, you know, throw the ink off. You know you're going to get killed. There's nothing you can do about it. Anyway, 
Love to hear your guys' opinions of Camp Triggerfish. 